Well, I hope you're doing well as we have this shelter in place time. I've been recovering from my surgery and it kind of feels like we're in prison. It kind of feels like we're stuck in our own home. And so I just wanted to share with you as we thought about prayer, the Apostle Paul would have fully understood what we're going through as he wanted to communicate with his church family and yet he was in prison, not able to be with them, and so he wrote them a letter. I think if he had had a chance to do video, he probably would have done that. But as he wrote to his church family, one of the things that he said in Philippians chapter 1 is he says, I thank God every time that I think about you. And I think that's a great reminder for us as church family to say thank you. God for putting us together. He said, I pray with joy for the partnership that we have together in the gospel, that God put us together. And he says, I pray and I'm think thankful for that and I think about that. He also said that he was praying for them with the affection of Jesus Christ and the affection that he had for the church. And I kind of like to think of it this way, I like you. Thank you, Lord, for putting me with people that I like. And as we pray for each other, yes, we're, we're separated, but we're able to hold each other up in prayer and be thankful and be joyful in our prayer. And then Paul went on to say this. He said, I pray that God would give you his knowledge and his depth of insight, that your love would be full of knowledge and depth of insight, that you would understand the situation and see it for more than just the coronavirus, but see his kingdom in it. He says, I pray that you would be able to discern what's best, that you would know what to do. And he says, and I pray that we would be together as we wait for Christ's return. Well, that's a great prayer, isn't it? As we pray for each other, that our love would be full of God's knowledge. It would be full of of his wisdom and, and his discernment to help us to do what's right and to see the situation for what's right and not just be stuck on ourselves. And so I pray today for you that, that God would just fill your house, your home prison with his Holy Spirit, that you would just have a time that we can pray in thankfulness, in joy. We can pray for God's return. I just ask you to keep on praying.